This is Cars All the Time, Car Search Engine. I'm G, your host. And I'm Kelly, your co-host. And where are we? Costa Rica, baby. Take a look out back. Wow. There, there's the ocean right there. Awesome. Oh, oh, this is Having a great place. time, yes, my G. it is awesome so. here. And we got a car for you. You're not going to believe what type of car this is. It, what, what is this car? It is a 1929 Duesenberg. Wow. Wow. Take a look at, that Take car. A look at this baby. Now, 1913, brothers Fred and Augie Duesenberg founded Duesenberg Motors Company on University Avenue in St. Paul, Minnesota to build the Doozy. Now, the brothers were self taught engineers and built many experimental cars. At that one. Duesenberg cars were considered some of the best cars of their time. Time? It is time to go have a glass of wine, G. I'll tell you what, let's let's have a glass. Costa Rica, baby. Yeah, Woo! Baby. Now onwards. Okay. Now these cars were built entirely by hand. Now in 1914, they went to a racetrack and drove a doozy to finish in tenth place at this racetrack. And Duesenberg won the race in 1924, 1925, and 1927. Now, the fledgling company sidestepped into aviation engine manufacturing. Does it have a rumble seat? Uh, no. No? No. Your shorter cars had the rumble seats, but this big, long ass Duesenberg had uh, a convertible top to it, and the convertible top had to be put back there in the back so there wow. was no rumble seat. Wow. Now, E.L. Cord bought the company in October October 26, 1926. Just remember that date because wow. I'm not going to tell you again. Wow, 1926, <laughs> wow. Yeah, for the brothers' engineering skills, talent, and the brand name in order to produce luxury cars. He challenged Fred Duesenberg to design an automobile that would be the best in the world. Indeed, Cord wanted the biggest, fastest, and most expensive cars ever made. He also ordered a large chassis to be able to compete with the biggest and most powerful and most luxurious European cars of the era. Now, by the time the Depression hit in 1929, the Duesenberg Company had only built some 200 cars. Wow, 200 you know, cars. Wow, baby. 200 cars, yeah. An additional 100 orders were filled in 1930, the next year. Wow. Thus, the Model J fell short of the original goal to sell 500 cars a year. How much horsepower does it have? I'm glad you asked that. The rare supercharged Model J version with 320 horsepower. 300, wow. Was also created by Fred Duesenberg and introduced in May 1932. Wow. Only 36 units were built. Oh. 36. 36 so, so units. Makes them wow. So it makes them real valuable. Wow. Special body models such as the later, later models, chassis achieved an average speed of 135 miles per hour. Back then, that's fast. 135 wow. miles per hour. Wow. 135 miles. Wow. That's faster, that is than, you, that's fast. faster than you walk. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, and one hour average of over 152 miles per hour. Now, the... What did the car cost originally? The originally it was like thirteen thousand, and with you added options of thirteen thousand. Wow, yeah, that's a lot of you money. You added a lot of options to it. It ended up being twenty five thousand dollars, and uh, at auction today, one million four hundred thirty thousand. One million. That, that's like the year twenty fourteen that this price was. Wow, that's a lot of money, G. You know what? That is our history of the 1929 Duesenberg today. We're off to the beach. We're off to the beach, wow. It's a little hot. <laughs>